Man, we got a lot to cover in this episode because it was Mondo Bizarro, dude! Cowabunga! Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle episode recap. Turtle power. Wormquake, aka The Manhattan Project, is a two-part, one-hour Ninja Turtle special that airs in the future. This video is actually coming out before the episode actually airs on television. It airs March 14th, 7 p.m. as a primetime special, but Nickelodeon was nice enough to put the entire episode online, so I've already seen it. I'm gonna recap it. If you don't want anything spoiled, then wait and watch the special, then come back to this, but if you watched it online, or you just don't care, or you don't even know what a Ninja Turtles is, then here you go. Though if you're watching this video and you don't know what Ninja Turtles is or don't even watch the show and you're just watching it because it's me talking, you're so nice, thank you. By the way, the intro changed. The intro theme song where they are fighting the Krang and stuff, they changed that to them pulling out these grappling hooks and Z-Line and across to promote those new toys now, Z-Line Ninjas. Put them all over your room. They're gonna be in my bedroom and I have Ninja Turtle Z-Lines all over my bedroom because that'll be sexy. Making love underneath some Ninja Turtles <laughs> Z-Line across. <laughs> Does that make you randy, baby? Yeah. Leonardo finally, like several episodes later, decides to try to tell Karai that, hey, Shredder ain't your daddy, all right? Your baby daddy is Master Splinter. Of course, she's all like, shut up, smack. I really do feel like this is an episode of Mori Povich. Can we just get Mori Povich to show up and bring out a vanilla envelope? Amatayoshi is the father. And then Oroku Saki's like dancing around like, yeah! So Splinter finally reveals to the other turtles who did not know that yes, he as Hamato Yoshi is the actual father of Karai, AKA Miwa. She was taken away by Oroku Saki. Splinter thought she was dead, but of course she's alive because you know, dead babies in cartoons, that's not really fun. We'll save that for Power Rangers Super Mega Force. Shredder's finally back and he brings back with him Tiger Claw, giant mutant tiger who's an assassin. So Shredder puts him as second in command. He's all like, sorry Karai, you bumped down. You've been demoted. Of course she's all mad like, what? I'm your daughter. But you ain't his daughter. He know that, that's why he treats you like crap. This is also the first time that Shredder has seen Dog Pound since he's turned into Razar. He just looks at him and goes, you look terrible. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just made me laugh. So Tiger Claw goes out, they find the turtles, put them in a trap to where they have to contact Splinter. Splinter is just fighting like crazy because he's such a better ass. By the way, when Splinter and Tiger Claw meet, they start talking in Japanese, and I swear at one point, Splinter actually said, shitty tiger. Listen to it real close. It's saying something in Japanese, there's subtitles and everything, but I I swear, I don't know if that's real Japanese. I think Splinter actually said, shitty tiger. He's not even punching, he's just doing this. He's like hitting pressure points the whole time. And it's every pressure point he hits, Tiger Claw's like, ugh, 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 ugh. But then Karate's a little dark to the neck, and Splinter goes down, and his last breath, he throws out some ninja stars that free the turtles so they can get away. Splinter is caught. I should mention there are only three turtles at this point, Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Donatello is not with them because he's fighting in a B-plot. While this is all going on, there's apparently these weird earthquakes that have been happening the entire time in New York City. Casey Jones and April are scouting around looking for Krang or mutants, and then Casey's trying to make his move, be a little bit like, hey, baby, why don't we go on a real date sometime? Get that capel action going. But then the Krang show up. He gets Krang blocked, and they find out that the Krang have these things called portable portals. There's these little devices that they can press a button and it opens up a portal. It's a gateway to a lot of different dimensions. They're looking through all the different dimensional gateways, including dimension X and a dimension that looks reminiscent of a 1980s cartoon show about four talking turtles. This is the first glimpse of the Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles coming face to face, or at least eyeballing, the classic 1980s Ninja Turtles redone in flash animation. But we'll get back to them. Krang from dimension X see them come out and attack and they get split up. Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo returning to Earth they have to fight Tiger Claw, and Donatello, April, and Casey being trapped where the Krang are hiding out. At this point, Donatello and Casey Jones are really not getting along. They've been showing these little small rivalries up to this point, but now it's going full blown. They're calling each other Gap Tooth, which I thought was pretty funny that they both make fun of each other's gap teeth. Not cool, man. Yeah, April, what's the deal? You like a man with a little space in between? Is that something you enjoy? Is that your mutant power? Being attracted to men with teeth irregularities? I sense you have a gap. My attraction for you is growing stronger. While in the Krang's lair, the Donatello, April, April and Casey find out the reason behind these earthquakes. Giant Krang worms called, oh boy, Krangathamra, 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 Krang worms. We're gonna call them Krang worms, which sounds like a very terrible venereal disease. Practice safe sex or you might get Krang worms. Your private parts will feel like they're in another dimension. <laughs> Dimension XXX, you know what I'm saying? This is what happens when you get a body without protection. 
This is the worst safe sex ad ever. Trojan Krang. We also find out that the Krang milk these worms. The milk is actually the mutagen that they've been using this entire time. The mutagen comes from giant Krang worm teats. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. Even Michael Bay couldn't have predicted that. That's it, I'm lactose free from here on out. I will only drink almond mutagen or soy mutagen. The gang gets busted because one of the small Krang worms is rubbing April's but she actually thinks that Casey Jones is doing it until she finds out it's a crane worm doing it. Creepy. That little worm's all happy too. He's like, mm, mm, look at that booty, that ass though. Crane worm, I found you, Miss No Booty. Casey, April, and Donnie, of course, fight the crane. What I love is that Casey at one point uses his cricket bat and then he goes, when you play in cricket, you gotta have some crumpets. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a little nod and wink to the first Ninja Turtles movie. Cricket, you gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. A Jose Canseco bat? Tell me, you didn't pay money for this. She's a tiger. Diane and April get away. Casey Jones tries to get away, but before he does, a giant crane worm swallows him whole. That's the end of Casey Jones. He's dead. We'll never see him again. She's a tiger. Meanwhile, Shredder and Splinter fight. Splinter is still kind of drugged from the medicine that was in the dart that hit him. So Shredder's just kicking his butt. I also love that Shredder is basically now Wolverine. Like the claws on his arm just come out and in whenever he feels like it. Schnicked, Shredder schnicked. And then the other turtles are coming in and able to get away. Let me just say real quick, my Michelangelo was awesome in this episode. Like he was fighting, he saved other turtles. He was really like, I'm ready to fight. Mess with Splinter, you mess with me. I like that. Donnie and April meet up with Jack Kurtzman. By the way, Jack Kurtzman, really cute name. Kind of close to Hertzberg, which is the real name of comic book artist Jack Kirby. Ah. Kirby was also supposed to be a fifth turtle. That's another story for another day. Kurtzman, who's been following the Krang for years, knows all about the Krang worm, knows how they work. Apparently, if you grab their antenna, you can ride them. Foreshadowing! Donatello gets the brilliant idea that, hey, we should use salt against them like slugs. So he throws a bunch of salt on the Krang worm. Krang worm spits up a bunch of goo. And, of course, Casey Jones, who is free! Yay! Caprol reunited. April Tello. Not so much. She's like, oh. Now we get two simultaneous fights. In one corner, Casey Jones, Donatello, and April O'Neil are beating up the Krang and trying to stop them from bringing another huge Krang worm. Meanwhile, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Splinter are fighting Fish Face, Razar, Karai, and Tiger Claw. There's some fighting over here, some fighting over there, fighting back over here. It's so much fun. But then the two fights merge. April O'Neil jumps on top of one of the Krang worms and grabs the antenna. So April rides the Krang worm. And she rides it all the way up to the surface, right where the turtles are having their fight. Splinter does this move again to Tiger Claw, and he flies right into the Krang Worm's mouth and is swallowed whole. So that's the end of Tiger Claw. He's dead. We'll never see him again. I'm sure of it. Really do hope he comes back. I like that character a lot. Donatello does his techno mumbo jumbo to the dimensional portal, which sends the Krang Worm to a completely other different dimension, saving the day! And Casey Jones is so happy that Donatello saved the Earth as well as saved himself that they now put aside their differences and their friends. They even fist bump. So forget April, forget April Tello, Casey Tello. Donna Jones. She's like a But wait, it's not over! Michelangelo wonders, hey, what dimension did we end up sending that worm to? They actually end up sending the worm to the 1980s Ninja Turtles dimension! The cartoon returns! All with their original voices. Cam Clark is Leonardo, Barry Gordon is Donatello, Townsend Coleman is Michelangelo, and Rob Paulson, who's currently doing Donatello in the Nickelodeon show, does Raphael for the 80s homage. Turtle power! Cowabunga! It was so awesome, so do not leave. Watch the entire episode. All all the way to the end and if you can watch it online it's the last part of the show so it'll be like all kinds of fast credits probably a giant lower third talking about the next spongebob or salmon cat give it the proper viewing it deserves there's no actual direct communication between the nickelodeon turtles and the 80s turtles i'm hoping that this is maybe a test maybe if people go crazy and like we love this we love this then maybe they'll do a special episode later on what i thought was pretty interesting is that when the giant crane worm was in the nickelodeon turtles dimension it was cgi but when it showed up in the 80s turtles dimension it was was 2D animated. So it would be kind of interesting to see if they actually bring the Nickelodeon Turtles to the 80s Turtles where they have to actually be drawn but have their same look of the current cartoon and or having the 80s Turtles go to the Nickelodeon Turtles dimension where you actually have to make CGI versions of the classic cartoon Turtles. That special needs to happen. Turtles forever. Two, let's do this. And I love that they made them different dimensions because it keeps to the same plot of the Turtles Forever special. There's not one Ninja Turtles dimension. A number of different various Ninja Turtles out there. Let's bring them out, bring the 2000s Turtles, the comic Turtles, let's just do another Turtles Forever in widescreen and put it out in widescreen and director's cut like you did the original, which you didn't, but you should. 
Now I want to hear from you. I would love to know what you thought of this episode. What do you think of the 80s Turtles cameo? What did you think of Tiger Claw? And would you love to see Nickelodeon doing a special episode where the Nickelodeon Turtles and the 80s Turtles actually interact with each other? That's gotta happen. I love you like a shitty tiger. I'm out of 5,000. Chain Chomp, yo. How you like this? Hey, Andre's a black nerd, yo. Or, hey, guys, Andre's a black nerd, yo. Nerf. <laughs> shitty tiger.